Good day everyone, I'm Loimi Dalogdod Castellan, I'm the reporter for this topic. So I'm the first reporter and followed by Mr. Rondolf Caracol, the second reporter. So our topic is all about understanding and sexuality, or sexual orientation and sexual identity. So first, we discuss sexuality. Sexuality is something that most people have. Most people get turned on, have desires, become attracted, and want to do something sexuality do to themselves or others. Sexuality can bring pressure, joy, and companionship. And some kinds of sex can lead to the creation of children. Some just like girls, others just like boys and others, boys and girls, and sometimes sexuality desires is to do with love, and sometimes it's not. The desires and sexuality you have can vary over time. It, it, it is not unusual that it goes in pieces how much desire you have. Who you have desires for and how important sexuality is in your life. Nobody, nobody other than you knows how you think and feel about your sexuality right now. So next, we discuss sexual norms. Sexual norms is many norms associated with sexuality are connected with gender. Norms are wrongly speaking what is considered to be normal and the unwritten rules which is set on the subject. For example, for these sexual norms is one pro-conceptions pro is that young men always want to have sex and that their sex drive is greater than, than that of young women. Another preconceptions is that young women actually men yes when they say no to young men. So it is easy to believe that it is biology which controls sexuality. But the study of other societies, views of sexuality and historical research shows that this have varied a great deal. So for instance, in ancient times, women were considered to be closer related to animals and to have a greater sex tribe than men. So whilst men were considered to be more rational. This can be compared with today's societies where men are often thought of as having a greater sex drive. Views on sexuality and gender are therefore dependent on time, culture, religion and etc. So that's, that's all for sexuality norms. So, we proceed LGBT and hetero. A world which is often heard when one talks about sexuality is LGBT. LGBT is associated with sexuality and it is collective term of homosexual, bisexual, transsexual, and queer people. Here we can see all about what these terms mean. So first, a homosexual person. A homosexual person gets turned on or falls in love with people of the same sex. Homosexual girls are usually known as lesbian or dyed. And homosexual men is also known as gay. So, a bisexual person also is gets turned on by falls in love with people regardless of their gender and can therefore be in love and want to have sex with both girls and boys. Trans visitites are people who like to dress in manner typical of the opposite sex. Dressing in clothes typical of the opposite sex does not imply that person thinks we're born in the wrong body. It can be something which is done for sexual gratification or because it is fun and feels good. 
Transsexualism. Transsexualism deals with gender and not sexuality. A transsexual, transsexual person can therefore be heterosexual, homosexual, and bisexual. A body, someone who was born in boy but who wants to be a girl instead. Today, it is possible for transsexual to change gender once they have turned 18. This is achieved through become hormone treatments and surgery. Certain transsexuals feel during their childhood that they will be born into the wrong body. Whilst for others, this feeling comes later in life. Queer. Queer is a concept which is used to describe those who cannot or will not identify themselves as heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, or transsexual. The word was first used in English slang expression for homosexual but, as it used today, it is possible to be heterosexual and queer or homosexual and not queer. Those who go agents that which others consider normal may refer to themselves as queer. A heterosexual person. A heterosexual person gets torn on by or falls in love with people of the opposite sex. Heterosexuality is the form of sexual identity which is considered by many to be normal. When someone means somebody else, and the same assumption is often that they are heterosexual. Heterosexuality is usually described as the, ma as the norm in society. It is often taken for granted that the people you meet are heterosexual. It is not often that the heterosexual person will be asked, when did you discover that you were heterosexual? So, some people asked, what is sexuality? Sexuality is from the time we born until the time we die. Every one of us is a sexual person. Whether we practice celibacy and abstinence our whole lives, marry and have children, or remain single and develop significant relationships at different times in our lives, we are all called sexual. We are born male or female, we are heterosexual, gay, lesbian, bisexual. We relate to others to resolve with issues of sex roles. We want and need to be significant to others. We want need to be touched and held. Whether we ever have intercourse or not, we are sexual people. Now, why is it this important? It is important because most of the time, when we think about sexuality education, we think only of the specifically genital parts of our bodies and lives. Our sexuality is a much larger, larger concepts that, that our sexuality is about who we are, our sense of identity, as men are women, how we see our places in the world, and what we believe about our potential and capabilities. It has to do with biology and psychology, with pleasure and values, and with relationship is relationship with ourselves, our friends, and those who might become our partner. We also often think about sexuality as a commodity something we get up or do rather than a cumulative process continuing throughout our lives. As we grow up and mature our needs change, our capabilities change, our desires, our intimacy and closeness changes. Our experience and the experience of people close to us shape and mold our expectation and our 
values about sexuality. Our sexuality also is, has many dis, dis dimensions or elements. And it is only sometimes that our sexuality expressed in specific genital acts of behavior such as intercourse or masturbation. You might think of sexuality this way. Sex, gender, sexual orientation, and relationship values, reproductive sexual health, feelings, psychological feelings, social skills, truths, fantasies, and daydreams. So that, that's all for sexuality. So next, we proceed sexual orientation and gender identity. The concept of sex Sexual orientations, gender, and gender identity are commonly confused. But there are important two distinctions between these ideas that can be vital parts of a person of identities. Sex also is a term used to describe the biological status of a person. Sex is determined by one's anatomy including but not limited to their genitals, sex chromosome, chromosomes, and internal reproductive organs. Typically, a person's sex is either male or female or intersexed. The society of typical characters the male sex by presence of male sex organs, such as the penis and testicles. Well, the female I sex is character characterized by a vagina and breast. So, sexual orientation also is describes a person's preference for who define emotionally, romantically, and sexuality attractive. A person's sexual orientation is separate from their gender identity. Some examples of sexual orientation are heterosexual, attracted of people to other sex, and bisexual. That some people are, are asexual, meaning that they do not feel sexuality attracted to anyone for more information on sexual orientations. Typically, heterosexual individuals have more privilege in society than homosexual or bisexual. This privilege is because heterosexuality is socialized as the quick. Sexual orientation is the matches up with currently established gender norms. For this reason, many homosexual and bisexual individuals may feel as true there is something wrong with with them and many begins internalized homophobic, homophobic attitudes. They may feel intense shame over their sexual orientations and identity and may have a hard time coming to terms with their sexuality. There are many support groups organizations designed to help homosexuals and bisexuals overcome the challenges associated with their sexual identity such as feeling different, feeling unable to talk about their sexuality preference, and expect experiencing difficulties finding a community. Under the sexual orientation is have a monosexual and plus plurisexual. So, monosexual people are attracted to single gender, namely heterosexuals and homosexual. Plurosexual also is indiv individuals, however, feel attraction to multiple genders. Plurosexuality includes people, people within the bisexual, Pansexual, queer, or frilled communities, 
the acronym of LGBTQIAP stands for Lesbian Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, Queer Questioning, Intersex, and Asexual, Pansexual, and is, and is used for describe the community of people who identify as something and other than heterosexual and or cisgender. Given that it incorporates intersex, asexual, and pansexual people, it is more inclusive than the LGBTQ acronym, which places all non-LGBT identities under the queer heading. As evidenced by models of sexual orientation, it is possible for person identify with be multiple sexual orientation as well as multi primary identities. Notably, prosexual individuals are more likely to describe primary identities and secondary identities than monosexual individuals. There are very variety of different sexual orientation which is which person might identify all of which are independent of their gender and gender identity. It provides an introduction to the most common sexual orientation as well as the particular features that make each category and its individuals unique. The following list are organized alphabetically. So that's it for all uh, about sexual orientation. So we proceed androsexuality andropilia. Androsexuality or andropilia is defined as a attraction to men, males and or masculinity. This definition does not limit a person to one specific sexual orientation but can be filled by members of multiple categories. For example, of this heterosexual woman and gay man are both andropelic as they are sexual interested in males. And also a aromanism, um, anomalism. People who do not feel a romantic desire are considered a romantic. Being a romantic is not the same as being asexual. As an as sexual identity does not rule but the possibility of romantic relationship. Like asexuality, a romanticism can often by miscontrol as not having found found the right person. However, it is a known sexual orientation and as such cannot be willful altered. Well they are not related to one another. A romanticism and asexuality are not much mutually exclusive identities, an individual can possess both. A romantic asexual are not interested to pursuing the either sexual or romantic relationships with others. So next, we proceed asexuality. Asexuality, a person who identifies asexual generally does not experience sexual attractions or has little to no desire to engage a sexual activity. This is not as the same as having asexual dysfunctions or choosing celibacy. Asexual simply do not desire sex. On the Kinsey scale, which describes the spectrum, spectrum of sexual orientation. Asexuality is given its own separate category known as category X. Category X include, includes those who do not feel sexual attractions or have sexual desire. Research shows that asexuality can be defined as a lack of sexual behavior, love of sexual attractions, self-identification as sexual. Or the combination of these interviews con conducted with 
A group of six twelve people revealed that those in the relationship often consented to sex with their partner when asked, yet drive no physical pressure or increase emotional attachment from the act. Although, they do not necessarily enjoy or desire to have sex. People who identify, identify as sexual still desire romantic relationships with people of the, the same of others' genders, where the overall definition of asexuality describes as lack of sexual desire, and the identity can vary from person to person with regard to feelings on relationships or how asexual factors into their everybody life or everyday life. Given that a major defining element of asexuality is self-identification, it is often difficult for research to gain clear and unbiased insight into the sexual populations. However, it is estimated that approximately 1% of the popula population is asexual. A questionnaire known as the Asexuality Identification Skills works to combat this storage of accurate information. The IS makes use of both open-ended and multiple choice questions and it inclusive to people of all genders and sexual orientations. It allows for further research into asexuality, especially among those who have not yet discovered the term. The term. For most sexual minorities, the process of coming out is way for individuals to find self-acceptance, community, and access to more romantic and sexual partners. Interviews with selected group is asexual individuals has given research a closer look at how ex asexual experience coming out of themselves, their friends, and their family. Asexual individuals may require more awareness of their sexual feelings than most of sexual orientation as information of asexuality is not notably prevalent. prevalent. However, upon discovering asexuality, many find joy and relief in finally having term with which to describe themselves. Feeling lack of sexual attraction to others, them to be outside of the norm, and is not well understood by those who do experience sexual orientations or sexual attractions. People may not think that it's possible not desire sex simply because it is larger position of that population enjoys and sex eat. For most minorities, the process of coming out is a way for individuals to find self-acceptance, community, and access to more romantic and sexual partner partners. Interviews with selected group of asexual individuals has given researchers closer look at how asexual experience coming out to themselves, their friends, and their family. Asexual indivi individuals mainly require more awareness of their sexual feelings than most other sexual orientations as information on and sexuality is notably less prevalent or prevalent. However, upon discovering asexuality, many find joy and relief in finally having a term with which describe themselves. Feeling love, lack of sexual attractions to others de is deemed to be outside of the norm and is not well understood by those who do experience sexual attractions. People may not think that it's possible not a desire to seek simply because it's a larger 
portion of the population enjoys unsexed eat. Although, some believe that asexual people have simply not met that red pers- that person or refuse to believe in the extents at all. Asexuality is a recognized and legitimate sexual orientation and coming out of such as an important part of self-acceptance, understanding, and processions of positive identity. So that's all for this asexuality. So for now, we discuss the last topic about bisexuality. Bisexuality often simply referred to as B. A person who is bisexual is attracted to people of both their own and other gender. It most commonly refers to people who are attracted to both men and women, yet bisexual people have preference for one gender over another. Where the prefix those not include indicate the presence of gender binary. The idea that there are only two genders. Rather, it simply implies attraction to two genders, one's own and one's that it not one's own. Bisexuality also is often delegitimized by other sexual orientations, and thus it is often ignored or erased. Bisexual person's sexual interaction with both men and women as a stepping stone to homosexuality or that those who claim to be bisexuality are actually homosexuals who are not ready to come out of the closet that they wish to retain semblance of heterosexual privilege or that they are straight people acting out of attention. Interestingly, research indicates that people are more likely to perceive bisexual men are more homosexual than bisexual women. This view of bisexual men supports that one drop rule, in which people define some as homosexual based on a singular homosexual encounter. According to a study of bisexual behavior among gay men, many men do use bisexual as a way of slowly coming out of adjusting to a guy identity. Bisexual men, however, retain their bisexual identity and continue to experience sexual, romantic, and emotional attraction to women throughout their lives. Furthermore, Bisexual people, people often receive increased criticism and suffer more discrimination than homosexuals, as they can be rejected from both the heterosexual and homosexual communities. Heterosexual people may believe that bisexual are not straight enough to belong in their community, and homosexual may think that they are too straight to belong with their community. Both straight and gay individuals, men even refuse to believe in bisexuality as a sexual orientation, invalidating bisexual individuals altogether. However, bisexuality is a recognized sexual orientation and thus exist with the LGBTQ community as a whole. Although, Personality and sexual orientation are generally separate entities. There is evidence to show that some personality traits are closely associated with bisexuality. In an online study conducted by Cornell University, bisexual men and women were surveyed regarding privilege of their sexual excitability, sexual curiosity, and sexual sensation seeking behaviors. It was found that men and women who self identify as a bisexual showed increased levels of sexual 
curiosity and sensation seeking. And that woman specially exhibited creators creator sexual exhibitability and vi and visualizing bisexual relationships. Many believes that committed monogamous partner partnership are difficult or impossible to maintain due to the supposed promiscuous and hypersexual nature of bisexual individuals. However, relationships involving bisexual individuals are not unlike those homosexual or heterosexual couples. <coughs> the result of one study showed that shows that 78.4% of participating bisexual men and 67% of bisexual women were either in serious relationship, engaged, or married. Through it may be an initially challenging for a bisexual person to find a comfortable trusting relationship with a heterosexual or homosexual individual because of this stigma. It is possible and common finish compulse involvement bisexual individuals demonstrated that they desire relationship that they are just as meaningful and committed as heterosexual and homosexual individuals. Couples emphasize that presents an importance of romantic love within their current relationship as well as their desire to love and commit fully to their partner regardless of their attractions to other genders. So that's all for this topic and we proceed to Mr. Randolph Caracol for their assigned topic. So that's all, thank you. Good day, sir. Uh, demisexuality is a comprehensive those who do not feel sexual attraction to others unless they feel emotionally connected to them. Or um, it is also uh, conceptualized as a gray area between sexuality and asexuality. Demisexual is a term in which an individual does not experience primary sexual attraction, the type of attraction that is based on immediately observable. Um, characteristics such as appearance or smell and is experienced immediately after a first encounter. And um, gen sexuality, gen pilia, does not specific as individuals gender as the term lesbian, would but simply denotes that they are sexually drawn as a uh, feminine qualities. Um, gen, gen sexuality sometimes spelled as gene sexuality. Describe someone who was attracted to femininity that means a person of any gender can be attracted to women or females and femininity. Hmm. Heterosexuality is a term used to describe a person who is physically, emotionally, and romantically attracted to individuals of a gender other than their own. Did you know that uh, heterosexual sex is occurring as old as humanity? The concept of heterosexual as an identity is very recent invention. Heterosexual person is of relating to or involving sexual activity between individuals of the opposite sex. Hmm. Homosexuality is one who is physically, romantically, and emotionally attracted to individuals of the same gender with 
which they identify. Homosexuality is a romantic attraction of sexual behavior between members of the same sex or gender. As a sexual orientation, homosexuality is an, an enduring pattern of emotionally, emotional, romantic, and sexual attraction to people of the same, of the same sex. Um, pan, pansexuality, people who are attracted to others um, regardless of sex or gender. Um, pansexuality is sexual, romantic, or emotional attractions towards people regardless of regar regardless of their sex or gender identity. Pansexuality people may refer to themselves as gender blind, um, asserting that gender and sex are not uh, determining determining factors in their romantic or sexual attraction to others. Um, queer, queer serve as an umbrella term for all non-heterosexual, non non-cisgender identities. Um, this is uh, denoting or relating to a sexual or gender identity does not does not correspond to establish ideas of sexuality in gender, especially uh, um, heterosexual norms. Um, sexual identity. In its most general sense, refers to the way of person expresses who they are as a sexual person. It spans. Uh, the importance that sexual expression has or does not have in a person's life um, they the way they express their sexuality and any reference they have about the kind of sexual partner they choose uh, sexual identity um, is how one thinks of oneself in terms of two whom one is uh, uh, romantically and sexually attracted. Uh, sexual identity may also refer to sexual orientation identity, which is when people identify or disidentify with a sexual orientation or just not identify with a sexual orientation. In sexual identity, this something in a uh, general. Uh, most people adopt a sexual identity that matches their sexual orientation. Most heterosexual or oriented people identify as heterosexual or straight. Most homosexually oriented people identify as lesbian or gay. Uh, however, there is a sizable number of people for whom sexual orientation does not coincide with their sexual identity. We can define all we can define sexual identity as the label that people adapt to signify to others who they are as a sexual being, particularly regarding uh, sexual orientation. That's all, sir.